Well, let me ask you about the hottest topic in the world right now, artificial intelligence. Yes. Um, they said over 25% of the jobs globally will um, be cut or replaced mm -hmm. by artificial intelligence over the next 10 years. Over the next 20 years, it reports of 40%. 40% of yeah. every single job in the world could be impacted by artificial intelligence. In your world, we see robo-advisors. Yep. A lot of different things that's happening. What's your perspective on AI yeah. and the financial services sector and how are you currently using AI to grow the company and yeah, what's, what's the pathway for yeah. your company in artificial intelligence? I mean, AI is the topic for every CEO. I know you all just got back from Davos and that was the topic. Yep, yep. And so let's unpack it. First, clearly for, for a company like ourselves that are long-term investors, it's important that as we think about AI, we also think about risk and protection. It's about data. AI at the root, it's about data and making sure that you have the underlining chassis to make sure that you have clean data, that you have the underlining chassis to make sure you're protecting the data and to make sure you're spending a lot of time thinking about risk. And so as excited as I am about AI and generative AI, I think it's important as a leader and for all of you to be thinking first about what is the risk. So that we're spending a lot of time understanding. The second piece is that AI is not like this technology department. AI is cutting across every role, every job. And so the way we think about it at TIAA is to look at use cases. How can we think about AI in, at every level of our company, every division, every department to accomplish a few things? One, how can we use AI to empower our own people? And so, yes, there will be a shift in jobs, but that is not new either. Mm. You know, technology changed the game, but jobs still prevailed. And so I do think that we can't think about it as if it's, again, a lose-win scenario. When history tells us whenever there's been a shift, we've created a new economy. And we educated and prepared workers for that new economy. And so it is in our best interest to make sure that we are not scaring people but empowering through educating and taking people on the journey of how AI will make employees' jobs easier so that they can focus on the things that they really love. So efficiency, companion, is an opportunity. I also think that AI will open up new ideas and new innovation. When you just think about the power and the compounding aspects of what this technology is already doing, and you're already seeing use cases. You're seeing it in human resources, you're seeing it in marketing, and so AI is already here. And for us, we see AI already when we look at our call centers and how AI is helping us get smarter about the type of call so that we can respond to our participants faster, smarter, and not having, not having them to reauthenticate themselves over and over because you can use AI. So there's so many use cases that can improve and delight the client experience, which is also important. So efficiency, employee experience, client experience, innovation, future today is AI. But it is something that I think we have to make sure that all employees understand because it's scary. What does this mean for me? And I think it's important for us to take them on a journey. For, for us at TIA, we want to educate our employees. We, we provide opportunities for any employee to get exposure to technology, learn how to code, learn how to understand cybersecurity, all the things around technology and where we think the puck is going so that we can make sure that our existing workforce is prepared for where we're going in a way that we can reskill, retrain, and open up that aperture of talent in a way that they can feel confident they can go from this role to that role. But the key is intellectual curiosity. I do think the, the opportunity for all of us, and I would say this for young people, once you graduate, you have not stopped learning. The objective, especially when you think about AI and generative AI, is this intellectual curiosity. You're not going to out-Google Google. There's nothing that you can memorize that Siri, Got gotcha. you. <laughs> but the most important thing that you own is how you think about something, how you apply it, how it can unlock a problem that we're trying to solve. And so the most important thing that I would share with all of you 
is to stay curious and do not be afraid of the technology, embrace it, but make sure that we're all thinking about it in a responsible way. And finally, I would say, embrace and understand as leaders is yesterday's compliance and governance is not today's or tomorrow's. And so we also have to make sure that we're investing in our lines of defense and making sure that we're calibrating not just the issues of today, but also protection for tomorrow. And I think AI is in the center of that opportunity. So I'm excited about AI. I'm excited about what it can mean for what we do and who we serve and what it can unlock. But it needs to be in a responsible way. It needs to be in a way that we take our employees on a journey in a way that we can evoke confidence and not fear in the technology. Yeah, it's interesting. We were in Davos and they were talking about uh, generations who feared technology. And uh, they brought up the analogy of the typewriter and people uh, fearing the computer. Yes. And they said, you know what, we, it, we don't know what we're going to do. We're not going to have jobs until okay. you realize that everybody is sitting in front of a computer. And then they said there was a mail room, but we got emails. Uh, so that's not, we're going to need that as much until you have 20,000 emails. Yes. Right. And so we should just be mindful and educate ourselves on it.